Hi, my name's Paulie, and welcome to the video on my LED Stratocaster. <laughs> Basically, this is a Stratocaster copy. Um, it had Crescendo written on the neck when I got it, but I've rubbed that off. Um, yeah, so let's go through the colours. So first up we've got blue. And we've got red. And we've got green. We got purple, then we got it's kind of an orangey green, like it's got red and green mixed together. Then an aquary color, then this is this is everything on it's supposed to be like a white, but it's sort of like a mingly mix of things. And then we've got everything panning through. And here's a view of the back. Uh, so let's check it out uh, on the bench. Okay. Before I open this thing up and show you inside, I just want to talk about where I got it from, what I've done to it. Um, came from a local pawn shop. Seen it in there, walked back out, come back in, had a good look at it, but come up with some ideas and um, said, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll buy it off you. I put an offer in and he took it. Got it pretty cheap and got it home. Um, the bridge was up like this and I couldn't play it in the shop, so I figured I'd, I'd be in for some work. Um, so basically, the fingerboard was all over the place all the frets were all over the place so it got a it got a um, fret level recrown um, the body was pretty knocked around it had a sticker on it over here at some point in the past I hadn't seen the sticker I'd just seen the crazing that the adhesive from the sticker had um, done to the plexiglass it just sort of eaten into it um, <clears throat> So I basically got the body, first thing I did was rounded it off, like stripped it out, rounded all these edges off with, um, with wet and dry, basically wet rubbed the whole thing with pretty coarse wet and dry, and then progressively got finer once I got the, the shape I was happy with. Um, just wanted to make it a little bit more strat-like and get rid of all of those nicks and things that it had in it. Um, I want to thank a friend of mine called Darren. Uh, who is a kitchen um, bench top builder um, he sort of deals with products like plexiglass uh, in his trade and um, he worked on the the crazing and actually made it improved it quite a lot uh, there's still a little bit there but um, he done his best on it and um, and I thank him for that um, inside with the bridge being up like it was I Figured it just needed an adjustment. Well, the screws that hold the claw in that maintain tension on the springs were actually stripped out of the plexiglass. And um, I drilled the holes out and installed some nylon nuts into the plexiglass and then um, got some little bolts with countersunk heads um, to hold the claw back and screwed them into the nylocks. And that's pretty good now. It works really well. So let's get on to the LED part of the situation. Um, basically I got a module out of a, um, it's like an Eversafe uh, Carols by Candlelight uh, kids candle. Um, they're like a red, green, blue uh, LED candle. They're like a white stick with a, a sort of a flame shape on the top of them. Um, it's supposed to look like a candle. Uh, they have a little switch at the bottom. They look pretty much like this. This one actually has Candlelight Premium written on it, which if I zoom in like this, you 
can see how it's spilled. And all I have is a little screw here, which you would undo with a Phillips head screwdriver. A tab in the base, which you pop. And it splits like so. This board is the one that I pinched the LEDs out of for the other board. Which are normally here. There's the switch. And that normally has those three uh, button cells. And that's what's mounted in the guitar. So, um, yeah. Basically took that apart. Uh, the one I had, or the one that ones that these um, had inside were little button cells, um, three 1.5 volts, which makes four and a half volts. Um, and I, I don't know, I just found them too fiddly and I wanted to install a nine volt battery. So I experimented with resistors and things like that to try and uh, bring the voltage down. But I found with the LEDs constantly turning on and off and things like that, um, it had upset the processor here because the voltage would be varying uh, and I actually went with um, a series of power diodes, I think I used about eight um, in series and each one of those drops 0.5 to 0.6 of a volt and that gets me down to about that four and a half volt mark. Um, basically bent the LEDs up on the on the uh, main board, on the main processor board that came out of the candle and point the LEDs out this way. Um, then I wanted something to cover over this way so I removed the LEDs from another board, another one of these candles, and installed them onto a little piece of printed circuit board. No, it's just the one that's got the, the lines on it. Just cut a small piece out, just score it with a with a um, blade of some description and a ruler along the lines and you pretty much just bust out what you need. And just a little loom. I've twisted the wires together uh, to control the noise because when this thing's in that cycle mode where it pans from one colour to the next uh, the processor makes a little squealing noise, like a whining sound, and uh, this tends to keep that under control a little bit. Um, and the adhesive I used was pretty much, I think it was gutter um, sealant, just the clear stuff. Um, I used it for a couple of reasons. If I ever need to remove everything, it can be it can be sort of cut out pretty easy. Um, and you know it's clear so um, the LED light pretty much shoots through it and actually is um, diffused by it a little bit more um, than, than if the LEDs were just straight in there which is which is a good thing because the LEDs tend to have a bit of ray effect they only have like a you know a 30 or 40 degree window that they actually um, shed the light in so hopefully that sort of disperses it a little bit more and and um, makes the effect a little bit more pronounced. Um, and the and for the external switch, I pretty much doubled up on the switch, just paralleled up the switch on the um, on the board here, and ran a little um, micro switch out to here. So. Um, that's about it. So let's go through the colours. Oh, all in all, um, these things are pretty cheap. Um, you can buy about six of these candles on eBay for 26 bucks. So you could do three guitars with it if you wanted to. Um, that's not where I got them from. I don't even know where they come from. The kids had them. They were finished with them. I thought I'd grab them and do something with them. So let's go through the colours. First up we've got blue, red, green, purple, 
um, a kind of a orangey greeny color um, pale blue like an aqua color and then we've got I think that's everything on um, and in the candle that comes up as like a whitish kind of color uh, mixed with a few colors but yeah in this it looks pretty pretty cool it's like a mingled mix of, of colors and then we've got the panning sequence and that's about it so um, I hope you found this video entertaining if you um, like what I'm doing subscribe um, because I'll be posting more videos in the future um, and if you like the video give me a thumbs up if I've inspired you to have a go at uh, building an LED plexiglass guitar uh, on the cheap um, I, I'd be happy to know about it so uh, have a good day I'll catch you later